Welcome to this video. I hope that you have been doing okay and that you're healthy. Um, today I'm gonna spend some time uh, working on a hula hoop tent for my children, for my girls. Um, I don't know why I use the term children because I feel like the term children or my kids is only used when <clears throat> you have boys and girls, but I only have girls so I can just easily say for my girls. Anyway, I'm gonna be making a hula hoop tent for my girls and um, I have some inspiration from Pinterest. My armpit's itching. I have some inspiration from Pinterest, but I'm gonna like use that inspiration and just kind of, you know, make it my own. So I'm excited. I also, um, um, yeah, I'm just gonna get started. I was gonna go off to another, story because I had already started making this tent a while like a couple weeks ago but I did it with a small hula hoop and then ended up changing my mind because I mean if I'm gonna make a tent uh, I want to be able to fit inside it like what's the point of making a tent if only your two-year-old's gonna be able to fit in it like you know what I mean like it was like just one of those small hula hoops and it just wasn't enough just go big or go home. Not really. If you don't want to go big, don't go big. And if you also don't want to go home, then just don't go home. But this is my hoop. This is gonna be the top of my tent. Um, and so what I'm gonna be doing right now, or what I'm doing right now, is I just have this white fabric and I'm cutting some strips off of it so that I can cover my hula hoop uh, with it so I cannot see that blue and yellow and blue stripes. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. So once I get this covered, it's just gonna be a white hoop. Um, and it's gonna be the roof or the top of my tiny little cottage. Cottage core. So I am, see that? Just I'm just gonna go all the way around. I'm not gonna use hot glue every single time because that's a lot of hot glue and it's, uh, it's waste. So I just hot glue the beginning um, where I want the fabric to stick and then I'll hot glue again at the end of my um, strap or piece of fabric or strand of fabric. Um, yeah, this is gonna look so good, and this is gonna be so fun. This is fun. Here is my hula hoop. It is completely covered in white. Step one, it's done, done. This is gonna be the top of my cottage. So with this fabric, I'm gonna be cutting some triangles um, that I'm gonna be sewing together. And the triangles is eight triangles and they have to be 25, 26.5 inches tall and 14 inches. The base is 14 inches and the top is um, 26 inches. And this was calculated by the um, size of my hula hoop. Um, my husband did that because, <sighs> I mean, I'm just like, I guess I could, he, he I don't know. I don't wanna call myself dumb, but I didn't wanna figure it out. It was just like, can you help me figure it out? I have all my triangles ready and I just need to sew them up. So 
I guess that when I sew all of these together, they're just gonna create a big 3D shape roof. And I'm really excited to see. Um, this is gonna be fun. So yeah, let's get started. Let me do this. There should be eight of them. Let's begin. I am done sewing all my triangles together. So I have um, the roof of my cottage done. Now I need to do some research as to how do I wanna attach them to the hoop. Um, but here's the end product. I'm done with the top of my house, kind of. So I need to figure out how I wanna attach it to the hoop. Uh, I was thinking of using Velcro, like kind of just like making some handles with Velcro and just attaching it with Velcro. But also I'm thinking about um, just adding some uh, kind of like laces that we can attach the top and the bottom of the hook by making, you know, just tie them together. I think I'm gonna go, I'm, I think I'm gonna do that. So now I'm gonna be working with the bottom of the cottage, which is gonna be the bottom of the hoop. Um, for this part, I want to add windows. That's gonna be complicated. So I need to figure out how tall I want it to be and how wide I want it to be. This is gonna be fun. This is gonna be a fan part. Okay, so I have my cottage ready to go. Not really. I have the fabric to build the outside of it. I'm going to do like some, add some of the same fabric that I have for the roof uh, on the front of it, kind of like the doors. Um, and uh, after that is all put together, I'm gonna lay it down and cut out some windows, which that's actually pretty nerve wracking. So I just, um, set down my tent and I'm gonna cut some windows out. I'm gonna use this Captain Underpants book and I want it to be double the size of them and I think that should be some pretty good windows. So here's an update. I have been sewing, sewing and I'm very hungry but I'm very committed to this. I don't want to stop anytime before I finish this. So I am done with the windows, which was the most tedious job of them all, just because they're cutouts. Do you see this? I cannot explain how um, tedious it was. Um, it took a lot of thinking and it took a lot of time I can definitely see how it would benefit if I would have planned it instead of just going along. But um, here I am and I'm done with the windows. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to be attaching um, a curtain to the outside like this. And the curtain is gonna be able to roll up like this. So I'm, it's gonna have some tie-ins that will tie the curtain up or it could be down if my kids wanted it down for more privacy. So yeah, I'll do that. I am so close to being done. I am currently adding the ties and hemming the top of the outside or the body of the house or the cottage or tent, or I've been calling this thing so many different things and I am tired of sewing and I am dehydrated and hungry. So yeah, uh, but so I'm adding this ties again to the top so I can tie the bottom, the main house to the hula hoop. So now I have to hem the roof or the top um, of the 
um, house, cottage, and um, add some Thai thingies. And yeah, and then I'll be done. So I'm done. I'm gonna go set it up. this video I hope that you enjoyed it um, it was fun making Just ready to chug some water um, I had so much fun doing this um, I know that the girls are gonna really enjoy just hanging out in here I can like fit oops I can totally fit uh, in here completely 